What is up whale shares? So I saw this post today from Crypto Billion and um, I got inspired basically by making a video. So you look at the markets, right? You look at the crypto currency markets. If I go to, for example, coin market cap, let's see how it looks. The last uh, change, last 24 hours. Um, so I first want to say I'm not a financial advisor, okay? <laughs> I have to say that in all videos. But you can see that it looks uh, pretty red here. And everything's sort of down as always. Uh, I mean, when, when, one, when one coin goes down, everything goes down, right? Because the market is, there's not that many people in the market, right? So it's easy to manipulate. But um, I got inspired. Uh, to make a video when I saw this post, cryptocurrency market is in steep decline. And the first thing he said was, today is a bad day for cryptocurrency. And um, I want to experiment, I want to explore that a little bit. So when you see stuff like this, it's like goes down. Um, I want to, so the thing I want to talk a little bit about is can there ever be a bad day for cryptocurrency? And uh, because the way I see it, again, not a financial advisor, but the way I see it is if something go, if you always have like, if you always have a value laying around in whatever form, if something goes down a lot, then I can basically get it for a low price basically, right? And if something goes up really high, then I can take some profits in whatever form. I don't have to uh, change it to fiat, for example. But that is basically how I look at it. So if you win, if you get something when it's extremely red, and if you uh, and if you take some profits when it's ex extremely green, doesn't that mean that cryptocurrency basically cannot have a bad day? Because that's how I see it as like if something is like 30% off, I mean, it looks like a pretty good deal, right? And if something is 30% green, well, it looks like it's maybe time to take some profits or whatever. Uh, and I'm going to say it a third time. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, I'm just a crazy guy. <laughs> but I would say maybe maybe bad days exist. If we look at it like this, if a market, it doesn't go up, it doesn't go down, it just stays at the same place, maybe you can call it bad. But because I see both the extremes as the biggest potential to do whatever it is you want to do. Uh, that's that's when opportunity comes in because people usually look, look at stuff in very emotional ways. So, can cryptocurrency have a bad day? Because I see it as, I mean, it's digital stuff, right? And the whole world is going digital. So, one thing we know logically is that the industry is going to grow. There's going to be a lot more in demand for certain things. Uh, some things are going to crash. Also, some things are going to, I think that 99% of the stuff that's out right now is probably going to go to zero. So it's probably just going to be a few, few uh, successful projects in the long run, right? But in general, I would say that if a person really pays attention to something, whatever now that is, then it can't really be a bad day. Since people, majority of people that are go going to be in this space, they're going to be here for a lifetime. Probably, uh, or a lot of us may even live to after age 100, because there's a lot of people that are working on making age 100 the new 60. So we might be here a very, very long time. At least most of us is going to be here another 10 years. Uh, so one thing that I get kind of annoyed 
with with uh, coin market cap is that they show the 24 hour uh, percentage change what has happened in the last day but does that really does that really have does that give any context why is it so important what happened the last 24 hours if this is an industry that's going to be here for decades at least it should be 30 days even in seven days doesn't really say a lot. Even 30 days may not say that much. You need longer graphs. So it's, it, so I would say that it, in bad days doesn't really exist. Or maybe, okay, maybe it exists. Maybe it exists if a project um, but th this would just be projects, right? If, if a project crash or if a project goes away or something, or if it's a major event that happened, uh, something that doesn't have to do with the price, then maybe it could be a bad day for cryptocurrency. But cryptocurrency is basically just like, it has to do with how people exchange value. And the core underlying system is not going to go away, uh, which is kind of interesting, right? That's kind of interesting. So I wouldn't really say it can have a bad day, actually. At least not the technology cryptocurrency, because, I mean, it's based on math. And can math have a bad day? I wouldn't really say so. People in cryptocurrency, they can have a bad day, maybe. Um obviously, but the, the technology itself, the logic itself, I wouldn't say that it can have a bad day, but it's a very philo philosophical topic, I would say. I mean, there, you can view at it in, in many, many ways, but in theory, if I was a person, I would always try to keep some value in some form, and then when something happened on the market, there, like there's always an opportunity in the market somewhere, right? It's always like some leverage thing you can find. And uh, that is what I love about this whole industry. Yeah, have an awesome day, Whale shares. Uh, it, today it's October the 12th, 2018. Soon we're entering 2019. Yeah, bye-bye.